Hi, I'm Professor Ronald Rael. This is Professor Virginia Sanfratello, and we're here at the Cabin of 3D Printed Curiosities. Let's show you around. The tiles on the front facade are made out of local materials, Chardonnay grape skins from Sonoma, California. And the tiles are designed to hold succulents and air plants which thrive in the Northern California environment. Enclosing the rest of the house are 4,500 3D printed ceramic tiles that we call the seed stitch tiles. They have this woven texture that's very reminiscent of stitching and you can see the bumps that make this kind of micro surface that looks really beautiful in the light. And they hang very simply from the building so it's easy to install, it can go up really quickly. The furniture is 3D printed, even the coffee table is 3D printed, and the coffee cups on the coffee table are also 3D printed out of recycled coffee grounds. And this is really one of the big points of this cabin, which is that a number of the materials are ecologically driven. They're found from sustainable sources, waste streams. The entire interior is clad with a bioplastic that's derived from corn. And it's translucent and it glows at night. This cabin is not just a research project, but because it's weatherproof and watertight, one can actually live in here and sleep in here. It's a really functional, usable space that demonstrates the potential of 3D printing and construction and architecture. You know, there are many things in this building that are basically traditionally constructed, but then on top of that, we've layered totally new ideas and totally new technologies. We're upcycling materials that would otherwise go into the landfill, but instead we're giving those materials value by turning them into building products. The implications of this cabin are really vast. There's implications that have to do with the housing crisis here in the Bay Area, for example. So it's like really good for mass production and it's also it may help communities to become architects themselves where they have the materials and the components and they, they, all they have to do is just to put things together. So I think that's also uh, maybe a new path for a new um, architecture in a new era. It's very necessary for us to make this cabin not only functional but also beautiful and in a way we think that beauty is a function. It uplifts our spirits, it makes us happy and so it was very necessary for us to think about ideas of beauty, of warmth, of hominess. So it's not just an engineering exercise and material science exercise, but it's an exercise in design. And we're hoping to build more projects this way, test new materials and new possibilities for 3D printing and architecture.